Hello boys and girls, this is Revit Magic and Tricks. In this tutorial we are gonna talk about how to create a roof. Ok, uh, for this video I have made uh, some characteristic basics uh, of building shapes uh, where we will show how easily you can draw roofs in Revit. And then we are gonna start with this basic square shape. Just go uh, to the architectural tab and uh, uh, group build, you have here the roof. When I uh, select here, you can see uh, the all free way uh, how we can create a roof. We can create a roof by draw a footprint of that roof. We can create a roof by extrusion to create some section shape and extrude them. Or we can go here and create a roof by face when he, we have some mass and uh, just click on the face of that mass and the uh, rabbit is gonna create for us that roof. Now first go here to the roof by footprint. What is this? I am now on the level 1. He says uh, you have created the roof on the lowest level. Would you like to move it to level 2? Yes, we gonna uh, move that roof and want to create that roof on the level 2. Go to the yes. Now you can see here we can draw the footprint of that roof. Go here to a uh, rectangle. You can see here a mo more edit for that uh, draw. Uh, just, uh, just go here to the offset and say something, I don't know, 100 centimeters and click here and just go to the another corner go to the escape now you can see uh, this uh, triangle the, that is a slope icon when i select one of the edge you can see that he has a slope of 30 degree the all four edge will have a slope just click here and now what is this? Would you like to attach the highlighted wall walls to the roof? Now I'm gonna go to no uh, for better explanation to you. When I go to 3D you can see that uh, this wall is 8 meter height but my uh, level 2 is a 4 meter and uh, we said uh, that we want to create this uh, roof on the second floor and that is on the 4 meter height. And how we can uh, fix this? Uh, just uh, over uh, the mouse to one of these walls and just select tab and click to select all walls. Then go here to the modify wall and click to attach top or base click here and just click uh, to our roof. Now you can see the Revit is uh, perfectly attached our wall, our walls to uh, this roof. Now go here. Here we, we also have a wall of 8 meter. Go to the uh, level 1, then go to the roof, roof footprint. Do you have create uh, the roof on the lowest. Would you like to move it to level 2? Click yes. And the same process, just go here, offset to 100, click here, then here. And now we select these two lines and go here and uncheck the define slope. Now the, this roof it's gonna be a sloped just for these two edges. Click this finish edit and now would you like to attach the highlighted walls to the roof? We click yes and the rabbit is automatically uh, attached that wall to our roof. Go to 3D and you can see 
the wall is perfectly attached to that roof and this roof is have only two slope uh, edges go to the next here just go the same roof by footprint yes and now you, you can draw the line click to the line and go to the offset and then say 100 centimeter and click here and when you just draw this you can see here the rabbit is automatically uh, attached that lines and go here and we can create uh, the offset of our, our shape and just go here and you can see the, our roof now for next we just go here and now we uh, have a different way to draw this go here to the peak lines when we click here and go here to the offset 100 now we just over our mouse to some of the edges you can see i can offset uh, from this or from these edges or uh, go to outside or go to the inside just go here to the outside and click and then click to the every edge now for the slopes we just go to the escape and maybe select this and this and go to the defines slope and uncheck that and go to the ok in 3d you can see this now just go to with mouse over one of the wall select tab and go to the attach uh, click to the wall, uh, roof and you can see our wall is attached to that roof now go to the next here we have the same roof footprint and now we can uh, go here to pick a walls click uh, that and go here to overhang if if is uh, a zero just go to the 100 uh, you see uh, this line is indicated uh, that uh, this command is still selected so just go to empty space and click one and then go to uh, some of our uh, wall and then press press tab and you can see the rabbit is automatically uh, create our boundary click ok and you can see our roof now go to the next select and okay the overhang is 100 you just go here press tab and that's it and now you can select all of these edges and go to the defines slope unchecked then go to the okay and you can see our new shape of the roof go here press tab and then attach here if we want to edit uh, the slope angle just uh, click here and go to the edit footprint you can uh, that uh, in a 3d or in floor plane and click to the one of edge with slope and click here and say something like 10 degree now you can see our new shape of a roof and you can see also the wall is updated for that new shape and the last for footprints we have this something strange shape of our bin building you can go here and same process 
just click here with tab and you can see this and we have this specifically shape of roof now the second uh, way to create roof is uh, with extrusion when you, we click here the Revit is gonna want to specify a new work plane we must uh, select some work plane where we draw that shape for that we just go here to the work plane and we have a reference plane click here and just draw some reference uh, reference plane then click to name and say something like roof reference plane and then go to this uh, escape and then go to the roof roof by extrusion in this specify a new work plane go to the name and select our reference plane roof reference plane click ok and click ok now the Revit is ask us where we gonna draw the, uh, that in, in what view we can draw in the east or west elevation or we can create some our section for that we go to the I don't know from here the west elevation reference level and offset we want to level 2 and here is our building just go here and choose something like this spline and select more point click here go to the escape and now we uh, draw the shape of that roof and just click here to ok and the Revit is build roof about that shape go here to the 3D you can see this extruded roof just click here and go back and this extrude here and go here select with tab all walls then go to the attach and click to the roof and you can see our roof now the second way uh, for work plane uh, we gonna go here the roof by extrusion and when we are in 3d go here to the pick a plane and just go and select one of this face of the wall click here and click ok we can also uh, this uh, shape create in the 3d or we can go here to the east or west elevation go to the east and say something like i don't know maybe no maybe maybe something like this go here go to the midpoint and just click here and go here select these two lines and go here to the mirror pick axis or shortcut mm and click here and then this delete and go to the ok now you can see the our shape of the roof select this with tab and attach to this roof and the last way uh, to create a roof is a roof by face go here click and I uh, create here a two mass for uh, this lesson just uh, go and click to one of this surface and go to the creator roof and the roof is created and go here create a roof and we have this roof how you can create the mass I, I will talk about uh, on some of the next video that's it for today if you like this video subscribe uh, it means a lot to me uh, if you have some question please uh, comment below uh, go to the facebook and instagram channel and see you next time